a chapter a day to brighten your way. Mothers, you've worked hard. Rest well. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Leviticus chapter 12. In this chapter, we will look at some of the rules for Israelite women after giving birth. The reason why God ordered these rules was to provide a standard of cleanliness, infection prevention, and postpartum rest as a form of protection for the mothers. Before reading the passage, we should first understand that the cleanliness and the uncleanliness mentioned in the Bible have nothing to do with good or evil. Being unclean is not necessarily avoidable, and the reasons for being unclean often have nothing to do with sin. This is a very important concept to help you understand Leviticus correctly. Let's read chapter 12 together. Leviticus chapter 12 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a woman conceives and bears a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. As at the time of her menstruation she shall be unclean and on the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. Then she shall continue for thirty-three days in the blood of her purifying. She shall not touch anything holy, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying are completed. But if she bears a female child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her menstruation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying for sixty-six days. And when the days of her purifying are completed, whether for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting a lamb a year old for a burnt offering, and a pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering, and he shall offer it before the Lord and make atonement for her. Then she shall be clean from the flow of her blood. This is the law for her who bears a child, either male or female. And if she cannot afford a lamb, then she shall take two turtle doves or two pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for her, and she shall be clean. If you are reading this chapter for the first time, you may wonder why mothers would be considered unclean after they worked so hard to give birth. The reason why mothers were classified as unclean after pregnancy and childbirth was not because of the birth itself, but because of the unclean blood discharged during childbirth. The sanitation and medical treatments during those times were not as advanced as they are now, so these regulations were particularly important. Dear friends, do you feel that you understand Leviticus better now after reading through it together? In the future, we will read similar chapters together again. I believe you will understand more and more as we keep reading. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for always setting down rules that are necessary for our protection, even though I can't understand all of it yet. I believe that everything you do is out of love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.